it's about day 20 since we got these chicks and we recently moved them from a storage tub into this four foot by four foot brooder box we have 10 chicks these are easter egg layers so multi-colored eggs from multi-colored chickens and as they grow they need a larger and larger space so this is the space that i built i just had some scrap wood that i put together They have a little bit of a dark space there to hide in. Food, grit, a perch, and then there's two lights. On the right there's an infrared bulb, so that actually just creates heat. And on the left we have one that does just light. And then there's a waterer there that has some little nipples on the bottom. And then here I just have the end of a 55 gallon drum that I put a piece of grass in. This is the second piece of grass. They picked the other one clean. So they get all sorts of bugs out of there and worms and grass and it's just uh, a good developmental step to have grass for them. Clearly they really, really enjoy it. <laughs> And I have to start work on the chicken coop real soon because these guys are going to be needing a, an even larger space and we plan on free range feeding them in the yard to eat ticks. That's a primary reason to get these birds is to eat ticks in our backyard. We have so many ticks. None of them have names yet. I suppose it's okay to name egg laying chicks because or chickens, because the intention is not to eat them. I built this brooder box down here in my garage area. Um, I have infrared thermometer, so the, the floors in here are 59, 60 degrees approximately. And in here it's warmer and warmer yet. I've had the lid open for a few minutes, so some things have cooled off. And uh, specifically underneath that light, it gets pretty warm. So they have a, a plenty warm spot to be. And you do need uh, you do need lights to keep them warm, but you need less heat or less infrared light heaters, whatever, as they get older. And uh, that information is all over on the internet, so I'm not even going to put it here. I don't remember the numbers, other than I know that somewhere around 80 degrees is good for chicks that are around 20, 20 days old. Okay, that's all. See you later. Bye.